So, who can tell me why it's important to keep as much mud in one place as possible and not splash it everywhere? Because the mud helps Pride Landers keep cool in the hot weather, so make sure there's enough mud for everyone. Very good, Gabby. Cubby, see that mud over there? What are those for? Well, besides eating the inside of them, they've also got water inside them which comes in handy for the dry season when there's not as much water to go around. A lack of those melons could result in the end of unlucky Pride Landers and that would greatly affect the circle of life. Indeed, well done you two, you are learning quite well and quickly too. Hey DJ, what's up? You watching those new additions again? Hey Louie, yeah, I'm not so sure they can be trusted. Gia might be making a mistake adopting them and letting them stay here in the Pride Lands. To be friend or not to be friend? That is the question. Give them a chance. You might end up liking them. You could even become best friends. I mean look, Gabby's already made friends with a Kinkachu named Vivo. Look at that cute best friend's hug. And Cubby has befriended a mouse named Jerry. He's giving him some cheese right now. Speaking of best friends, I've been meaning to tell you about something for about three days now. I found a friendship bracelet in my cereal box one morning. Then I found another one on the floor near the front door which had been left open by mistake. I looked out and saw a porcupine running away. You know what? I think I saw a porcupine and a bunch of other unfamiliar people run by on that same day. I'm wondering if that porcupine had something to do with the friendship bracelets. I won't know for sure however unless I ask her, but I don't know where she could be. Well, I do know a lot of places we could look. Maybe we could even bring Gabby and Cubby along for a little tour and get to know them a little. Well, I guess we could do that. Great, I'll go out to you right now and maybe we can bring Vivo and Jerry along too. We've been searching everywhere in the Pride Lands, but there's no porcupine anywhere. It seems that nobody even knows a porcupine. Wait, we've been looking for a porcupine? Yeah, Vivo and I can definitely confirm that there's not a porcupine in the Pride Lands. Well, there is one place we still haven't searched yet, but... The Outlands? What makes you think the porcupine could be in there? Well, we won't know unless we check. But Cuppy and I just love this place. We don't want to go back. But you do know the place since you used to live there. Not the entire place. We never got to go exploring. Eh, you're right. We shouldn't go in there. Whoa! Ah! Louie! Whoa! Oof! Oh no! Ah! Ow! Oh! Whoa! <laughs> that was fun! A tad painful though. We gotta climb back up there. I wouldn't recommend it. Climbing back up that wall would make it crumble even more and you could get hurt. Huh? Who said that? I don't see anyone. But we gotta find a way out of here. Well, I think I know an area that's not too far away where we can exit safely. What's it called? 
Flatwich Rock. That's it. Right then, you're gonna have to follow us, guys. We'll find a way out. Don't worry. Come on, you guys. Let's go. Well, I guess we've got no other choice. I haven't known Gabby or Cubby for very long, but I trust them. You coming, DJ? Come on, DJ. Place your trust in Cubby and Gabby. Coming! Think we should alert Ash about our visitors? Probably should. Let's go, Clifford. Look at that, guys. The future queen of the Pride Lands is in our territory. Did you see those two guys on the upper level? Those were some of the guys that ran over us a few days ago. We better alert Poppy about all of this. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, here's another joke. What kind of drink makes you sick? Hmm. Huh. I don't know. Coffee. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I get it. Wait, does coffee really make you sick? I drink coffee every day. Am I on my deathbed? Whoa, hey, relax, Nigel. It's just a joke. Coffee doesn't really make you sick. Yeah, it's just like the joke that goes, what kind of shoes make you fall down? Slippers. But slippers don't really make you fall down. It's like that. Oh, oh, well, in that case, can somebody fetch me a double decaf, short, dry cappuccino with a little twist? All we have is water. That'll do. Guys, sorry to interrupt your jokes, but we have something important and urgent to inform you all about. What, what, what? DJ Sugi and some of her friends have wandered into the Outlands. We need to alert Ash about this. Where is she? She's in her room, looking at the picture again. Maybe someday. Hey sis, Clifford and Wayne have some news for you. DJ and some friends of hers are lost in the Outlands. Then we have to find them and make sure they don't run into trouble. Trouble in the form of Poppy and her clan. You heard Ash. Clanmates, move out. Meanwhile. Hey Poppy, we've got some important information to share with you. The first thing is that... Uh... Shoot. We forgot what the first thing was. But the other thing is that DJ Suki, Gabby, Cubby, and a few others are lost in the Outlands. <laughs> Hi, 